This horrible looking dent took me 16 hours to repair and I'm going to show you how I did it in 30 minutes. The series of horizontal crease lines are going to be repaired only by using the GPR methods and that's glue pull repair. No filler, no paintwork, just 100% paintless dent removal. So grab a brew and enjoy! So here's all the damage all marked up. So um, it's a steel panel, restricted access because it's in a quarter panel area. So unless I start stripping it um, to get bars in, it's, um, it's not easy to get to. You can't get to it from underneath. So it's classed as restricted access. We'll go for um, the main dent, which is A. So it starts from this point and runs all the way through. Horizontal crease, a big one. So it's 420 mil with this crowned area at the top. So basically what I need to do to repair this, I need to put a glue tab on there or, or multiple glue tabs, put some tension on there, tap this uh, crown down and that's how I'm gonna tackle that. So we've got B, that's the second dent. You can see if I put the um, inspection board on there, I'm gonna put that down as a 80 mil body line dent. I've measured it through the body line and across as well. Um, again, that's glue pull repair. Stick it on around the uh, body line because that's the deepest part and the rest of it should come out with a bit of um, light tapping on top. So we've got C, which is this, and this dent, another one there, again, running through the body line. That's, it might be a bit tricky to repair that one. Uh, see how we go and also the frame is protruding through there. Again, there you go, I can see where the lines go tight. And then lastly, I've got um, area D or dent D or dent D. So that's a slight crease on the arch. You can kind of see it there. That's, it looks like a body line, but it's not. It should be flat. These um, usually take a little bit of work to repair, to, to get to take out. What I might do is stick a, a large flat tab on this body line area, uh, give it some slight tension, and then it should um, help me repair that. So that's all the areas that I need to repair. It's uh, quite an intensive job. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wipe all this off, get the um, pulling tower set up, and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so the first pull that I'm gonna be making is on this horizontal crease here. So I'm using some 99% um, alcohol, isopropyl. Give it a good clean with a clean cloth. There you go, a couple of coats. And then same again on the tab. And this time I'm using the Camauto uh, Universal Crease Set. So I give that a good rub, just get rid of any kind of res residue. Uh, again, um, get rid of all the residue with a uh, heat source, whether it's uh, a burner or a heat gun. Okay, just get that out of the way. Then I want to be sticking on the glue. So we're going for the Flex uh, glue, the Keiko Kamoto glue. Want to be sticking quite a lot on there. Just lather it on like that. Don't be shy. Make sure it doesn't go on your fingers or your knees if you're wearing shorts. There we go. Just place it on like that. Don't matter if it drips, it can come off. Once it's dry, just get a bit of isopropyl on there and uh, it'll just peel off. So I'll give that a couple of minutes to uh, go off and then I'll hook up the, uh, the pull-in tower. I'm going to put the bar through there, like that, attach the hooks. 
and then take up the slack. Okay, there's plenty of tension on there. The dent's been, uh, been pulled out quite nicely. So I'm just gonna tap this crown down very lightly using the paddle and the, uh, the flat tip knock down the crow carb. Just gonna lightly tap around the area and just get rid of that crown. See a bit more. Right then, gonna take the uh, the pulling tower off uh, and release the glue on the tab, and just see how the dents come out so far. I'm gonna go in with uh, another pull. So this is the second one. Again, plenty of glue on there. There we go. All, all over the tab. Okay, like that. Just going, so the first one was around here. Just gonna go up to this body line. I'm just gonna go about an inch, an inch over the body line. We go and we'll leave that for a couple of minutes just to, um, just to go off and then Stick the pulling tower on there. Okay, so progress has been made just on these three pulls. I've managed to pull the, uh, the crease out quite well, uh, really well there, it's come out a bit too high, and here as well. We're just a middle bit, still needs a bit more work. And uh, yeah, going up to this body line here, there's still a lot of resistance and tension there. So um, gonna change tabs to a smaller one, pop it on there, and uh, use a, a mini lifter and a slide hammer, and just see uh, how it comes out. To repair this crease, I'm going to be using a 50mm crease tab and it has a dome on it as well, a domed um, head. Again, plenty of um, panel wipe on there, give it a good clean. All oh, nice and warm. All the residue off. And then plenty of glue. There we go. You see I've changed the, uh, the head on this one, so it's not one where you can stick a, a bar through there, it's, uh, it's a head where you can put a slide hammer on there, like that. Just slides on. stuck really well that is okay that's enough for that get the uh, uh, isopropyl on there the alcohol spray give it a good spray just let it soak in and it will release at some point there we go Okay, from that pull, it's just pulled the edges up a little bit as well. So it doesn't take much to um, just to straighten this out. A few like taps either side, and then I can go ahead and pull again. 
I'm probably going to use um, a thinner uh, crease tab this time. Okay, so I need something thinner than uh, the Camoto one, so we'll just pop that there. Um, let's have a look. Right, okay, so yeah, use a, a key code tab because that's a bit thinner. So it's going to be better for um, pulling out that crease. Let's just get it in shot. There we go. So I'm going to load this up with some uh, more flex glue and I'll probably use um, a mini lifter on that one. And then back in again. I'm not going over top over top of the glue this time. Um, just enough to sit on the face of the tab. And you don't need to leave uh, this as long as the big ones either. Um, I usually leave these for about 20-30 uh, seconds uh, at the most. The crowned area there. Okay, about ready to pull now. Good poles these are. <laughs> the glue's really sticking well. It's pulling this crease out lovely. So I'm just gonna, using a standard knockdown on the uh, Deglexo paddle. Okay, just a few more poles and then I'm gonna get onto this dent at the back, right on the body line. Okay, so um, it took a little bit longer. I've just uh, shown you how I did this on the time lapse. Spent about an extra 10 or 15 minutes just getting this middle bit looking um, a lot better. So if we have a look in the lines first, bearing in mind I've only repa repaired this from one direction. So going from the other direction, there might be some more ripples, but um, at this point I'm happy with progress. So I take off the line board, Turn off the auto sucker. There you go. Like I say, that's just um, after about in total 20, 25 minutes, maybe half an hour. So that's that's coming out really well. So now what I'm going to look at is uh, this crease, this sorry, this body line dent, which is there. So I'm just going to adjust my um, lights, and then we'll get straight into it. Okay, let's have a look at this dent from the opposite direction. So I'm going to stick a crease tab going straight through that body line there. I'm going to hook it up again to the, um, to the pulling tower. Just take some steady pulls on there and just tap this top crown down at the same time. See what happens and then I'll go on to hand pulling uh, with some different crease tabs. Okay, got a bit of tension on there. Um, it's lifted it out a little bit. So now I'm just gonna ta uh, tap this crowned area down. So I'm tapping this area really lightly. Um, I don't wanna be putting any um, marks um, into, the, into the panel at all. Any um, dots or low spots. Just want to be tapping really, really lightly and uh, it will just flow on its own. Get 
artifacts. I'm just going to get another glue tab just at the top of this, um, this crease tab, but without letting the glue touch the, um, touch the crease tab because it'll release and it'll, it'll go bang. Let's give that a minute to set. Knock it down a bit more, the uh, crow cab this time. It's going to release the glue now. Okay, it's coming out really well. Um, I'm going to change from the Camoto crease tabs to a smaller um, Kiko gangrene tab. So I've got a couple here. Got the um, gangrene one and the Kiko um, crease tabs. I'm just going to carry on with underneath the body line and then progress to the top. So I'll keep cracking on. That's just right on the body line. So hopefully that's going to draw enough out um, and then I can carry on a little bit further underneath here with the smaller tabs. Okay, go at it again. So there seems to be a bit of tension at the bottom below this body line. So I'm just going to pull the, um, the damage out above and just see if that helps me um, lift the rest up. So just a couple more seconds. So I've just switched the direction of repair and I can see that this body line area is still in quite a bit because it's pushed out at the bottom. So I'm going to concentrate more on the top now, just see if I can uh, bring this body line up and hopefully that'll give me enough to, uh, to work with. So it's quite tough in this corner. Um, so yeah, a few more glue pulls on top. Pop it over the top there. Okay, I think I'm about done on this bit, so let's have a good look. Just get all these marks off, all the glue. So this has took a serious amount of work to get this out, um, a good few hours at least. So let's have a closer look. There you go, just pull this out a little bit. If we get the inspection board on there as well. Like I say, I took a few hours to get it to that standard. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, just sort out my tools, change direction and start repairing this other body line dent. Okay, give it a good clean, same as before. Um, so the tabs that I'm going to be using, uh, Kiko Ice and Gangrene tabs, i um, going to start off on the body line and just work my way to the end of the damage. And then for the bottom one, just going to, again, start off on the body line and then just finish it off. Um, hopefully it's going to go a lot better than the other one. 
these tabs are already clean using the same glue right over that body line there Knocking the crowned areas down over the, uh, over the top of um, the dent. Back in again with another crease tab. Going back onto that body line, just gonna run along with the body line this time um, instead of through it. So about ready. Quite a large crown here so I'm just going to knock this bit down um, once I've knocked this bit down it should just um, just lift it out of the bottom Okay, that's as far as I want to take this top dent. Now I need to just drop down and do the other one um, it's because it's just drawing the, uh, the area. It's just drawing the panel inwards. I'll show you what I mean. So it's just drawing it in there, look. So that's where the other dent was, straight through there. And there's the bottom dent. So just a little bit left on the body line there. But yeah, looking good. More glue on that. And a bit right on the body line again. This time just using a dead on dead center um, tab around one. Okay, so I'm at a point now where all the dents at the top are out, even on the body lines. The only other damage that I've got now is this long crease. So what I'm going to do is lift the car up, warm the area up, and then using um, a mallet, oh, here we go, I'm just going to get behind the arch and just tap it out. That should relieve some of the uh, tension uh, pressure on this edge where it's, um, it's been pressed over should reduce the line and then I can uh, glue pull right on the body line just to bring out the panel 
and uh, then it should be nearly done. What I'm going to put on the body line is a Decaco Flexi Tab. Um, it's bent to the, well, it's curved to the shape of the arch. So, same as all the others. Load it up with glue. I have plenty of glue on there. And then I want it right on that body line. And I'm going to leave this to set for about. Uh, two minutes, something like that. Okay, that's worked really well. Uh, the crease is actually totally gone. Um, it's just pulled the body line up a little bit um, funny, so I, I need to I need to reshape that bit. But um, yeah, the frame's totally gone. So uh, there's a little bit down here, a little bit there, but in the middle where I pulled, uh, it's come out spot on. So I'm happy with that. Just uh, back to um, hammer and knockdown now. Take a look. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that so far. It's took a lot of work that has. Oh. Right then, let's take a look. Now this golf quarter panel took me ages to fix, but like I say, the end results speak for themselves. Hours and hours of tapping, my hands were killing me at the end of it. But like I say, all works out in the end and the customer is super happy. So if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great to get a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, please do because it really does help my channel grow. That's it for me. See you soon. Cheers. Yeah.